Wrestlers and basketball players can compete, but cheerleaders and dancers are no longer allowed in games. This has some parents upset. They talk to News Channel 5's Alexandra Cohen as they believe the rules are hypocritical and sexist. Cheerleaders and dancers started the season with socially distant routines. I feel like our, our athletes have done a great job following the protocols that are in place for them. Kim Stinson and Gretchen Router have daughters who cheer at Centennial High. In December, dancers and cheerleaders found out they're no longer allowed at games due to COVID-19 concerns, following an amended order from Governor Bill Lee. It's confusing. It's definitely confusing. The order allows grandparents and faculty to come to games, and it doesn't impact other sports. And that's where yeah. it feels uncomfortable. Julie Wilson's daughter is a senior cheerleader at Page High. She thinks it's hypocritical because sports like wrestling are high contact. So it is like a slap in the face. She showed us a video of cheerleaders spreading out. In our opinion, the cheerleaders and dance teams are more COVID friendly activity than the sports. I mean, they're right on top of each other. They're sweating, they're spitting, they're yelling, they're screaming. The uh, cheerleaders and dance team have already shown that they can socially distance. The TSSAA says they were abiding by Governor Bill Lee's orders. Here's what they had to say. It was a decision based on medical advice, with cheerleading posing a particularly high degree of risk because it involves projected voices within a confined indoor space for an extended period of time. I read the order and it doesn't specifically ban cheerleaders, but the TSSAA says it does. And so I, I, just, I just would love clarification on that and I would like for them to consider allowing the cheerleaders to finish their season. Reporting in Franklin, Alexandra Cohen, News Channel 5. In a YouTube video, Williamson County Superintendent Jason Golden said cheer and dance teams have not been an issue when it comes to COVID-19 quarantines compared to other sports. He believes they can safely have cheer and dance at games. We reached out to Governor Lee's office but did not hear back.